Hello everyone, in this video we will see how to render lists in React. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing we need to do is create some components. So the first thing I'll do is create a component called movie. So what this movie component will do, it will accept a prop, maybe a movie name, and then it will render that as a list item. So let's create that first. And we'll need to export it. And if we save it, uh, this won't render because I'm not rendering this inside our app.js. So what we will do, well, instead of that, let's wait for a second. First of all, we need a list of movies so that we can render them. So let's create another component. Now, what we will do, we will render this movie component inside our movie list component and then we will render this movie list component. I know it looks complicated, but I'll, I will show you how to do that. So first of all, we need to export them. Am I exporting it? No. So let's export it first. Save it and come to app.js and movie list should be here and save it now let's go back to our movie list component so first of all let's create some list of movies here so over here we have three movies so we need to render these movies and we need to export them over here so that our movie component so that our movie component has access to this array okay so what we can do so we know that we need to render the names right so we can create a prop here name save it and we know like we need to show it somewhere here so maybe we can just delete this and we, let's create a ul element and let's create li and inside let's pass our name prop but right now we are not passing anything because this function is has not been called anywhere so first of all we need to import this function here but in order to do that we first of all maybe remove that code and so the one way to render an array in react is with the use of map method so let's create a map method so we will have our movies and we'll use our map method and then that map, that map method will loop over this array. So let's give it a variable, maybe movie, and then this movie will go inside this movies array. We can either do that, we can put inside a p tag and then just shows our movie here and that will work. But we don't need to do that because we already have a component movie that does it for us so what we can do we can remove this and instead of that we can call our movie component here and then pass the name as prop now our movie component has access to this array so this one so we will pass our name prop here and it will print inside our list item so if we run this code see we can see our movie names here but you'll see an error here because in react we need to pass a unique key properties so the way react works is it will print this list but let's say you're, you're making some changes to this list maybe you are removing some items maybe you're adding some items so react needs to track these items so we can fix that with a, with adding a key property here so let's go back to our movie list component so over here we need to provide a key value so we can get the key value from ids so we can pass the key as key equals to movie dot id and if we save it and go back to our chrome and refresh it we will not see that error because now the each 
list item will have its unique key uh, yeah and that's how you can render the lists in react so that's all from this video i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching